not a lot of outlets for woodworkers, for people that work with their hands here in, in central Indiana. We are a good haven for those people who like to do that. Uh, it's, a, it's not an easy job, um, so it's an acquired taste. Uh, people need to, need to be committed to it. And most of our people that have been here have been here a long time. Billy Richardson is the founder of Old Hickory Furniture. Around 1892, uh, he started out of his barn, he started creating hickory furniture and sold it in Martinsville, Indiana, and was selling it just to people that would come by to the market on Saturdays in, in Martinsville. Inns and things in Martinsville found the old hickory furniture, bought it, and put it on their porches and people it became very popular and eventually grew out of that uh, um, barn that he was building it in and they bought an old abandoned church and started building there. It's grown since then. The wood that we use is hickory. The name Old Hickory um, made sense but it also was Andrew Jackson's nickname. Billy Richardson and his father supposedly made chairs for Andrew Jackson's home in Tennessee and so the name Old Hickory fit. It's the wood we used. It was uh, uh, one of the famous presidents that had this style furniture and uh, we even have our signature chair. It's called the Andrew Jackson chair. The company moved to Shelbyville in 1982. Um, we've been here since then so how many years that is, 40 years. Grown from about 15 employees. Uh, at one point, we were up at 125 people. We're down around 60 at this point. Everything's been here, it's all in-house. We work one shift. Everything's done here from the chairs to the tables to the upholstery to uh, sewing, weaving. Everything's done right here in-house. first part of the process when the wood comes in is what we call nubbing, and that's taking off any sharp uh, pieces or parts of the wood. Then if the wood needs to be bent, then we bend it. Then we cut things to size. We have big chop saws that cut the, the pieces right to the exact size. From there it goes to our sanding area. So every piece is sanded. Some of it's sanded lightly, some of it we sand more heavily depending on what the customer's desire is. Next part of the process is if something needs to be drilled or doweled uh, to do our mortise and tenon construction. Then from there it goes to, uh, on a, stays on a cart and it goes to our builders. Builders, depending on their specialty, some of them specialize in beds, some of them specialize in chairs, some of them specialize in dressers, tables, whatever. They will assemble uh, the piece right there. And then it goes to our finish sanding. After finish sanding, it goes to our finishing department. It gets a stain if needed, and then a top coat protection. The last part of the process is our quality control or inspection. We put our brass tag that sells Old Hickory in Shelbyville from, since 1899. Then we package it and put it in the box and ship it to wherever it's going. In the early days, the popularity of, of Hickory furniture grew pretty quickly and it started here in central Indiana, but quickly grew to the Adirondacks in New York, and then out to the mountains out west. The National Park Lodges are a perfect place for this. It's a rustic look, it's uh, very environmentally friendly, it lends itself to the rustic nature. And so when the Old Faithful Inn was being built in 1904, they called on Old Hickory to furnish the porches, to furnish the dining rooms. So in 1904, we shipped a lot of furniture out there on, on uh, rail cars, and they still use that same furniture today. Done a lot of uh, business in Alaska. There's a lot of lodges in Alaska that have a uh, look that uh, is conducive to what we do. Uh, we've shipped a lot to Missouri. We do a lot in uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, um, the mountains of North Carolina, uh, upstate New York. 
Do you have customers in Canada as well? Uh, even uh, we've shipped a few orders here and there over to Europe. We have an order that's going to Chile, South America, all over the place. <laughs> the style that we have is timeless. It's something that uh, people identify with as people were growing up. They go to the parks, they go to Indiana State Parks, they go to national parks. They see our furniture and somehow that resonates with them as something that's real, it's American, it's something that's been around. It's a comfortable, timeless uh, thing and even the younger generations are starting to see that as well.